I'd love to focus on some of the data that I was able to present at the American Headache Society meeting, which focused on the phase three prevail study, and it was a post hoc analysis of the study. So just to remind everyone, prevail was an open label phase three trial evaluating the long term safety, tolerability and patient reported outcomes with eptinizumab among 128 adults with chronic migraine. And overall, what it demonstrated is sustained reductions in headache frequency, as well as severity and headache-related disability over two years of treatment with eptinizumab. And both headache frequency and severity were from the MIDA supplementary questions. And that's what our post-talk analysis uh, focused on so that we can use the MIDA supplemental questions to obtain headache severity um, as well as headache frequency. So on that data, there are kind of two areas that we looked at. One was the monthly headache days, and then the second was focusing on severity. What we found is that the majority of patients achieved a monthly headache day reduction to less than four monthly headache days over two years with a potential indicator that this is preventive treatment optimization. So why would we say that that is a potential treatment optimization? It's based off a couple things. One, as you may know, the American Headache Society recommends further optimization or initiation of preventive treatment when individuals are having four or more headache days per month. So if we can get people to less than four monthly headache days, then we're making that assumption that their treatment is optimized and we don't need to continue to layer on or come up with a different preventive treatment option. And then in addition, there's data that shows that with individuals that are having less than four monthly headache days, that it correlates with patient reported outcomes. So again, to reiterate, in this study, we found that there was a majority of patients that had less than four monthly headache days. I also love the metric of looking at zero headache days. So there was also an increase in the number of individuals that had zero monthly headache days from week 12 to week 104 out to that two years of treatment. At that two years of treatment, there were 23% of individuals that were previously diagnosed with chronic migraine that had zero monthly headache days taken from that Midas headache frequency um, as a data point. The other interesting point is focusing on severity. Many of my patients in clinic, they'll tell me that they're not only interested in reducing headache frequency, but also reducing headache severity because that is a significant component to their disability and their impairment and function. So in the post-talk analysis of Prevail, when looking at that supplemental question of severity, they then used that and overlaid it with frequency and used something called the Frequency Severity Index. And that frequency severity index score from baseline to week 12 to week 104 had a significant reduction over time. So both of these data points, looking at frequency alone and then looking at a composite score, a frequency of severity, really demonstrates that eptinizumab treatment will provide individuals with a reduction in frequency, a reduction in severity sustained over two years. 